Hello and welcome to D&D Daily. Today I'm doing a challenge character build that came from one of our viewers, Frosty Ma. And Frosty Ma, the cheeky bastard, asked me to do a build that only used catapult for damage. Now, I didn't hit that target 100%, but I got about 90% there, so... Here is the build. For this build, I decided to go with the Clockwork Soul Sorcerer. The reason for this is that we, one, get catapult, Two, we can mix it with metamagics to do some pretty interesting things. And three, we have enough flexible non-damage options that we can still be effective without doing direct damage. And that's gonna kind of be the theme here. Catapult does not take concentration, and I wanna use my concentration for fight winning spells. So now I gotta find a bunch of non-damage fight winning spells. So at levels one through two, that's going to be sleep. Sleep works great at levels one through two and then falls off very quickly. From levels three to four, we're gonna rely on grease to be that kind of fight winning spell. It's not gonna, it's not the best fight winning spell ever, but it, it does work. From levels five to eight, we're going to pick up Hypnotic Pattern as our main fight winning spell, and this one is fantastic. And then levels nine into the late game, we're going to be using the Wall of Force that we get from Clockwork Soul Sorcerer as our main fight winning concentration spell. So Clockwork Soul comes with some features that are going to help us keep our team alive. At level one, we get a feature that allows us to turn our enemies advantage into base and our allies disadvantage into base so we kind of even out the playing field um, we do this a prof bone number of times a day as a reaction it's kind of like a, an aura around us so that's going to help protect our team or help our offense at level six we're going to pick up bastion of law which allows us to give up our sorcery points to be kind of like shields that reduce damage each sorcery point represents a d8 of damage and we can give one to five when one of our allies is hit, they can reduce the amount of damage by rolling those dice that we gave them. If this is really good to put on other casters who are using a fight winning concentration spell because they can take a big hit, reduce all the damage by 5d8, and now they took zero damage, and so they do not have to make a concentration roll. So there's some great synergy there. As for our spell selection, we're going to prioritize spells that enable our allies. Spells like Silvery Barbs, Vortex Warp, Counter Spell, Fly, and Polymorph, spells like that, are going to be our main priority, and then our secondary is going to be defensive spells. Spells like Shield, Mage Armor, you know, whatever it may be. Though I will say, with this build, I took the Tortle, so that my AC is 17, and I don't have to take Mage Armor. So I can focus more on Shield and Silvery Barbs and other good first level spells. Now for the fun part, we are a Catapult Specialist. The part we've all been waiting for, right? Now to begin this, we are going to need proficiency in alchemist tools, or alchemist supplies, yeah, alchemist supplies. Alchemist supplies allow us to make alchemist fire. Now this costs quite a bit of money, it's gonna be like 25 to 50 GP to make alchemist fire, but when we catapult it at someone, it also takes the damage. Your DM might not allow this, but it totally makes sense. You're just yeeting a vial of alchemist fire. It hits them, does the catapult damage, and then explodes into fire. So now they're on fire, and they're going to be taking residual damage unless they use their action to put it out. So now not only are we doing damage with catapult, we're also kind of, you know, taking up some of their action economy or doing extra damage. Something else to keep in mind is that, you know, at early levels, this is too expensive. So we can actually take oil, which we can make for one silver piece or even, you know, if we can make it for half if we're using our alchemist supplies, it's gonna be like five copper pieces. So we can make a ton. We can yeet the oil vial at them, and then we might, if we decided to, we could take Quicken Spell and Firebolt. There's the 10% the I was talking about where I am allowing Firebolt to be on the build for when we run out of spell slots and because it can do some cool things with Catapult, as well as, you know, it's not raw, but if your DM feels like it, you can also light your Grease spell on fire. It could be kind of cool. When we need it as our budget, we can be throwing oil flask to either set ourselves up or our allies. And kind of get creative with catapult. You know, some of this stuff isn't raw, but just see what about your DM thinks about it. Like take a net, you know, and use net as your catapult. Let it do its damage, and maybe they'll let the effects of net take place as well. Again, not raw, but who knows? Maybe, maybe your DM will allow it. Something else to keep in mind with catapult is aim it like lightning bolt. Throw it at an enemy, and if they make the dexterity save, have another enemy behind them, so when they dodge it, it hits the enemy behind them. It gives you a higher chance of hitting, so aim it like lightning bolt. And finally, we have our metamagic options. Like I said, Quicken can work with Firebolt. I also like the Careful spell because we are able to use Hypnotic Pattern where a bunch of our allies are together. It doesn't really work with Catapult, but 
it does make it so we can do these fight winning spells, use it where our allies are and still have it be a fight winning spell. So it gives us a lot of flexibility with those kinds of spells. I also like the subtle cast because catapult's funny with subtle cast because you don't do anything also an object goes flying either towards you or directed at someone. That's something else kind of cool you can do with catapult is kind of use it as a pseudo telekinesis where you can send an item to yourself to grab and like store so you can do some cool stuff with that. There's some couple like niche things I did with the build at level four I you know I took Fey touched because I had an odd score in charisma and then I took Gift of Alacrity, which is an amazing spell that would boost our initiative by a D8, so we're more likely to go first, which means we're more, more likely to get one of our fight-winning debuffs off. And then we can spend the rest of the uh, the fight just yeeting catapult stuff and, and throwing firebolts. This is the build. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it met your challenge requirements, and I love doing it. It was a lot of fun, so if you guys want to throw some more challenges at me, feel free. It's a good time. I probably won't be able to get to all of them, but I'll take the ones that I'm most excited about and, and do them and send them off to you guys. It's a good time. What would you guys have done as a catapult specialist? What kind of build would you do with the same challenge? I, you know, I'm giving Frosty Mouse challenge to me over to you guys. But with that said, we are D&D Daily. We release new D&D content every single day. So if that's interesting to you, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.